In this course, we will create machine learning projects in the comfort of our own home or office. However, embedded machine learning may have far-reaching effects, things that we won't ever see as end consumers. There are a lot of potential applications in industry, things like asset tracking or industrial automation. I've asked Daniel Situnayaki, one of the founding engineers of Edge Impulse, to share his forklift demo with you. Hi there. So one of the most important applications for embedded machine learning is in industry. There are a ton of places where it is extremely helpful to be able to collect and understand what is happening in an industrial setting right where a sensor is located. So one example of this is in logistics. So imagine you're shipping a lot of hardware around on pallets and you want to keep track of what's happening to these pallets during shipment. How long are they spending during different parts of the process and what kind of things might be happening to these pallets while they're being shipped around the world. So what I've done is I've created a smart pallet here. So I've added a microcontroller developer kit, I've added a battery here and I've got my plastic pallet. And I'm going to be using this with my little toy um, forklift truck to demonstrate how we can train a model to understand what's going on with a pallet that might be being shipped around the world. So what I've done first of all um, is I've collected three sets of data. So I collected a bunch of data that demonstrates the forklift stationary. So just sitting there by itself. Um, and for that class, I collected around four minutes of data. I've then collected around the same amount of data of the forklift driving around. So this is in motion. And so this will help me understand whether the pallet is stationary or moving. And then finally, I collected another four minutes of data, which show the pallet lifting and lowering. So I'll be able to understand when the pallet is being moved. And this is all data collected from an accelerometer, a three axis accelerometer that is on the board. So what I'm able to do with this data is first of all, run it through some signal processing. And from the signal processing, we're able to see that we can discern between the three states easily. So we've got the driving state up here in this blue cluster. We've got the lifting and lowering state down here. And then we have a stationary state. So because it's easy to visually distinguish between these three things, this helps me understand that a deep learning network is probably going to be able to figure out the difference between them too. And as you can see, I've been able to train a deep learning model here to get 95% accuracy in discerning between the three classes of driving, lifting and lowering and stationary. So why would this be useful? So imagine we're able to log this data on the device and then when the pallet arrives at its destination, we can read the logs and understand how much time the pallet spent driving or being moved around or being stationary. This might give the company that owns the pallet or is doing the shipping a better understanding of how efficient the process is and whether there might be ways to improve it. And they wouldn't be able to necessarily log all of the accelerometer data during that time because there's too much of it and they might not have enough storage capacity on device. And they may not be able to send the information in real time because it uses a lot of power and it can be costly and you don't necessarily have good uh, connectivity wherever the pallet is while it's traveling around the world. So what's really nice here is that we can just log a record of whenever the pallet starts being driven, whenever it starts being lifted or lowered, and whenever it's stationary. And we just have this low frequency numeric log instead of a high frequency raw sensor data. And so this is something that potentially a industrial user can derive some really helpful information from. Thank you.